Hey YouTube, I'm going to be showing you how to get your NAT type open for your PS3 on with a, if you have a Motorola NVG510 with AT&T. First thing you want to do is go to Google, Chrome, or your any other browser you have. And you want to go to the top address bar and you want to put 192.168. Okay. That's then you press enter. Next you wanna have your access code handy and ready for you when um you know, you just wanna have it ready like on a piece of paper so so you can just enter it right there. The access code is not your Wi Fi password or your it's actually just a code for this website pretty much to access all your settings on your internet modem and stuff. Alright, I'm gonna pause the video right here. Oh crap, what the freak? Okay. One second. Alright, I'm back. And next, once you put in your access code, um, uh, it might ask you to like change it or something to put a new one in and it asked me that and it just sent me in a loop like it sent kept sending me to put access code in and then change it again and so I kept changing it and then sent me back to put access code in and once I did that it kept telling me to change it well all right so so I just clicked on firewall firewall and then to my luck it didn't ask me for an access code Next you want to do is go to firewall which is right here. Click on that and then nat slash gaming. And what you want to do is go to custom services and you want to add these four ports. These four um, custom services. First one you're going to want to name port 88 UD. And then global port will be global port range will be 88 to 88. Base host port will be um, 88. <laughs> and then you want protocol to be just UDP. And then you want to add that. Of course, I already have it, so it's not going to let me add it. Um, you want to just once you're done with those, just add them, but I'll go through with it the whole time so you know how to do it. Port 3074, as you, as you can tell, I'm like the words of typing, um, 3074, um, and you want to put just both, you can name it UDP and TCP, but it doesn't really matter just a name and um, the global port range is 3074 to 3074 um, sorry I'm just heck of nervous this is my first YouTube video I'm making base host port would be 3074 and both and then you add it Changes saved. See, well, I had a different name, that's why it let me. But I'll just delete that. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Next one you want is port 53. Both. Tab. Um, global port will be 53. 53. 53. 53 53 53 that's all you gotta do really and then that's gonna be both add I'll just delete it right real quick next one you want is port 80 oh man I suck at typing I just love hitting the shift button all the time 
and that's going to be a T TCP. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Um, global port range would be 80. 80. Base post port will be 80. And that'll be TCP. Okay, remember that's TCP. It's usually in the name, you know. Okay, add that. Okay, I have no idea why I added that. Huh. What did I do wrong? Okay, whatever. Just wanted to add it, I guess. Okay, and that's pretty much all you gotta do for right now. Next, you wanna click on return to net slash gaming. And then, those won't be there. You'll have, like, no service hosted applications or something, whatever. No, just nothing will be there. And then you wanna go here. Hey, let me delete those for you guys. Just to show you. See, no application hosting entries have been defined. Then you want to go to service right here. And you want to find the ports. They should have like an, a star thing right next to them. Doesn't really matter what order you put them in. Just put that and then, oh yeah. You're going to want to have your um, PS3 um, IP address. You're going to want to have it. It's in it should be in settings and uh, system settings and like all the way at the bottom of system settings it should say um, I don't know but like it's like all the way at the bottom like second to the last one it's like PS3 or whatever I don't even remember but what you want to do here is put your service name port the port and then you want to find your ps3 mine's not connected to the internet right now but just we'll just use this one find your ip address for your ps3 you can pause it right here if you want you know if, you, if you're gonna go find your ps3 ip address then you want to hit add you're gonna want to do this for the net for the next three um things too hmm. oh, well, I used a different one but you know it's not my P my PS is not connected to the internet so my IP address isn't showing up It does show PlayStation Network, but that's not that good. It doesn't really help if you're not type. I haven't really seen any videos on this, but I did not find this by myself. I found it in the Activision forums of Call of Duty of, for Black Ops 2, and it really helped a lot. So I'm showing it to YouTube because I don't really see any YouTube videos. For the AT&T U-verse, Motorola, and VG510, you know. TV, did I click? Yeah, I must have that. Man, I feel stupid. Sorry, you guys. Suck at making YouTube videos. You know. Okay. Well, you 
can just like that's pretty much all you gotta do and then but you then you just like save it and then you turn on your PS3 go to load up Call of Duty go and play online on multiplayer or zombies and it should say your NAT type should be open that's basically all you gotta do it doesn't really matter what order you put oh another thing is you wanna go to IP pass through and you want to turn all location mode to pass through and that's pretty much all you gotta do and just save it and you leave everything as it is that's it I'll put the link to the forums if you didn't really understand me and you want that um, if you want to read that better I'll put it in the description you're gonna want to restart your device but of course I ain't gonna do that so I'll just change it back hmm. I think you're supposed to change the allocation mode to pass through could be wrong but I don't think you have to if you don't want to Alright, so, take another look at this, it doesn't really matter what order, but this is, this would be your PS3 IP address right here, I would go right here, see if it said like, Donald's PS3 or something, that's, be right, click on that, there's the Wii, no one uses that, um, yeah, you're gonna wanna restart your modem, Alright, well, I'll see you later in my next video, if I ever make one, because I obviously suck at them. Well, there you go, there's a tutorial for putting your NAT type open with the AT&T U-verse internet, or Motorola MVG 510 <sighs> modem. There you go.